everybody. Welcome back to Women Carry Knives. And on the table today, we have got the Kaiser Quatch. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you guys that these are mostly out of stock. Um, so if you can find one, congrats. Go ahead and grab it. These have been, or this, has been just an absolutely trippy, fun, fantastic knife. What are you going to get with this? Well, you are going to get a beautiful N60 stonewash blade. Um, this cleaver type blade, it's got a nice flat grind on it here. Nice thick stock on the back, but comes to a nice thin sharpened point, which I really do like. Um, it kind of is a, is a whale head, but actually was named after, I think, Sasquatch which I don't know what a whale head and a Sasquatch has to do with each other, but that's okay. Um, your handles on these are going to be micarta. And it is a right hand tip up carry only. So for my lefties out there, I do apologize. This is another right hand carry only. Um, your liner is, oh, look at that. It's a steel liner, stainless steel. And it is a liner lock. So if you're noticing on here, well, let's go ahead and look at the centering on this. I mean, that's really good. I really do like it. And the cat's about to come up here again. Hi, kitty. Right through the video. You have got some great milled out little accents here on the handle. And that's going to give you a little bit more grip. Now, this micarta um, is a little more grippy than most micartas that I've had. Um, it's not quite as smooth, and the little milled out areas on here, their design is going to give you that little bit extra of a grip on it, especially when, well, I should say when you have smaller hands like me, um, I can actually bring my fingers back, so instead of wrapping them all the way around, I can bring my fingers back and I can rest them on kind of that milling area right there. So that's really nice, and it really does allow me to get a better grip on it. Um, because of the jimping on the back of the blade here, I am able to choke up on this. You know, it's a large size knife. Um, it's a medium large size knife. And I'll show you what I mean when we get into some uh, some comparisons there. But so far, this has just been absolutely fabulous. Now, you do have two ways to deploy this. You do have a flipper tab, um, which, as I said, does have the jimping on the back there. You can also use the thumb hole and spidey flick it, but it's very stiff. So I can just barely get it. Now, if I had stronger hands like a therapeutic edge, I'm sure he can flip this very easily. So I do love the fact that it does have two deployments. And this thing, two modes of deployment. You guys, check, listen to this. Oh, just love that snap on there. Um, you've got your backspacer here that kind of acts almost as, well, it's got your lanyard area. But it's not quite a glass breaker, but it, it definitely can be used to do a little bit of damage if you need. I'm not talking physical. I'm not necessarily talking about a fight. I'm just saying that if you do need it, you do have that. So that is also very nice. Um, aesthetically, I just, there's something about the look of this. Now, when you're closed, because of the blade shape or the handle shape, you can see that it's going to be quite pronounced. It's going to stick out quite a bit. But, you guys, this is... A fabulous, fabulous knife. I mean, this that comes to the point right here that is just incredibly, incredibly sharp. And it's been fabulous. Um, it has cut through, and be, due to the weight on it too, it has cut through the uh, cardboard like a charm. Um, paper, we have cut some uh, um, paracord, 550 paracord with it. Uh, I actually cut some shoelaces with the other day, and it just slices right through, like your best pair of scissors. But it's not. It's a knife. Uh -huh. Anyways, so yeah, Kaiser did a absolutely fabulous job on this. I'm loving, absolutely loving the feel. It is so comfortable in hand. Now, for those of you that know, I am a huge fan of the rectangular shape. But there is something about this one and the way that they have done it. And I think maybe because it kind of is brought in but then swells back out at the butt, which makes it that much more comfortable. Now, having the smaller hands, my hand is going to fit into there very nicely. And whether I am back on the blade or the handle or I am up further and choked up, either way, it's comfortable. Your pocket clip is very big and 
it's fabulous. It's got a good retention. It's not super strong, but it is enough retention there that um, it is not going to slide out of your pocket too easily. And I love that too. Now, it is not a deep carry. And we'll show you that right here. So you are going to have, especially with your uh, backspacer, with your lanyard, you're going to have a bit sticking out of your pocket. Now, you know, if you're okay with that, great. That's fine. I would actually be okay with that one. Um, mostly because this thing had just, it, man, it rides in your pockets. It's so comfortable. I was actually really surprised because when I first saw it, and a lot of people were reviewing it and had it, and I thought that thing is just way too big and way too bulky, but it really surprised me once I got it in hand, I didn't feel that way. And that's what I always say is, you know, don't knock a knife until you can actually get it in hand because you don't know what it's going to feel like. You may not like the looks of it. You may think that it's not going to be comfortable at all, but once you pick it up and you're able to play with it and see how it feels, you're going to notice that either, you know, maybe you were right or it is something that is absolutely fabulous and feels great in hand and completely blew your, you know, your perspective away. Let's go ahead and take a little uh, look at some size comparisons here. So you can see the bug out. Obviously, I consider that, you know, a medium size now. If we take that and we kind of butt it up, and let's go ahead and butt our, uh, the end to end here, and we're going to include the tip on that one, so you can see that it's just a little tiny bit bigger than the bug out, but to me, it still feels more of a medium-sized knife, and I think that's because this is very slim design, so you can see it's very thin, and the handle is very narrow, very nice, whereas you've got a lot more, and for lack of better wording, I'm just going to say girth. Um, so you do have the flatter scales. You've got the scales are fatter. They're they're um, they're bigger. They're chunkier all around, and that to me is why it deserves to have a full size medium uh, size to it. Now, if we take a look at that next to the Rat Two here, we can see the Rat Two. I also consider to be a small to medium size knife. So you can see it's still in that category, but again, I'm throwing it into the medium size. Because of the shape, the handle, um, I just think it really deserves it. If we put it up next to the Rat 1, you know, it's really not that much smaller. Now, if you didn't have this backspacer, you know, you put it back, yeah, you're going to be looking at a little over an inch bigger. But um, with that there, it, you, you notice that it's, you know, it's more comparable in size. So, as I said, carrying in pocket, it has been very comfortable. The micarta on this is very well done. I, you know, I do like it. Um, the edges are not incredibly smooth. So, I will say that. They're not incredibly smooth, but they're not super sharp either. So, there is enough rounding on it or, or smoothness and sanding to it that it's not going to be bothersome. As I said, the clip, very low profile. The clip is not a hot point at all on this. I mean, it is very, very comfortable. Fidget Factor, I think the more that uh, a Therapeutic Edge and I use this one, it's going to break in very nicely. But to be able to spidey flick it or to just flip it, either way, um, it's wonderful. This sound, I mean, just wonderful. And you have to admit, with a knife like this, you are getting um, something that is kind of a conversation piece because it's not often that you see one. I mean, you see cleavers all the time, but you know, it kind of has like that little bit of a whale head to it, which is really, really neat. I like that. So if we talk about the overall specs, you're looking at a three inch blade with about a two and three quarter inch cutting edge. Your handle length is going to be, and as I said, we're going to include that part in there, is going to be one, two, three, four, five. So about four and three quarters. One, two, three, four. Yeah, not quite, not quite five inches, about four and three quarters on that one. And then your overall length is going to be just shy of nine inches. So we're talking about eight and three quarters of an inch. That's a good size. Your weight on this is going to be 4.6 ounces. So it is definitely um, one that's a little bit heavier, but well balanced. So it's, you know, it's comfortable any way you want to hold it. If you want to hold it like this, you can really get in and do some good cuts that way because of the nice fine tip on there. And I do love that about it too. Um, this has been a great chopper. We actually used it to cut salami the other day. So it's kind of a neat little, you know, meat cleaver at the same time. 
All right, you guys, this has been a look at the, the I was going to say Kaiser, at the Kaiser Quatch. Um, I'm not finding a whole lot that I personally don't like about this knife. Um, maybe the backspacer because I'm not a lanyard fan. You know, I would like to maybe find something else to do with that. But this has um, so far been pretty darn good. You know, way to go, Kaiser. If you could hit that like button on the way out, I'd really, wherever it is, over there, I'd really appreciate it. I would love to have you be a subscriber. If you're not one already, I'd love to have you hit that button so you can be here all the time with me. Feel free to leave me a comment down in the comment section or any questions. You know I love talking to you guys. And until next time, thank you so much for joining me.